let's just say that LinkedIn is going to become more pay to play over the next next year. What does that do to the personal brand strategy? What does that do to some of the social selling strategies that we've talked about? How, how do we adjust to that situation? Because I think it's probably, and, and even if you look at Facebook, right? When Facebook first kind of went to that pay to play, you could get ads at an affordable price. You could actually make a lot of, there was a lot you could accomplish. And then since then it's gotten tougher and more difficult and all of that, even on the paid side. So I know there's probably about five questions built into this, but what, what do you think about the, the, if we're going to be more to play, what is that going to do to personal brand and strategies and social selling in general? I mean, there's two time zones, isn't there? There's before this happens and, and after it happens. Before, in the window that we've got now, I, I can't stress enough, now's the time to try and build an audience and a brand where you can do it for free, organically and, and relatively easily, because that will become very valuable within a year, two years and, and beyond. If we're then looking at the point where it becomes very difficult to get any traction without paid, it's just, we're already seeing it now. Companies are already starting to invest in influencer marketing, LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn is getting a bigger budget in companies' marketing um, budgets at the moment, and that will just continue to grow, and it will get to the point where, you know, if I'm the, the CEO, I'm going to select, you know, maybe some of my leaders, some of my staff, and when they post, money's going to be put into ads to, to boost them. It's not going to deliver a very strong ROI compared to what's available now. And it's going to cost a lot of money, but there'll be that transition period. What will be a reality is everyone who does have an audience and a voice will become a lot more valuable in that time because people are going to want to, I mean, B2B influencer marketing on LinkedIn is in an early boom stage at the minute. So when that time comes, they're going to become even more valuable because they'll have organic audiences, voices and brands that are you know trusted. So now's a good time to in, invest in yours. And then for the companies out there, now's probably a good time to start testing ads and building your knowledge base and experience mm -hmm. with it because they are going to become more and more important as time goes on. And they aren't easy to, to get right.